Now we'll go over a quick review on easy coloring using the eyedropper tool. So as you can see right now our bottom lip is white. We have all of these mesh points that we can change the colors. So we want to have our direct selection tool selected first and then our eyedropper. And we want to do it in that order because in Illustrator if you hold down command, it gives you access to the previous tool, which we want, selection tool, because we want to select a point, but then we want to eyedrop the color that we want. So I'm going to hold down command, get my direct selection, and I'll highlight those four points. I'm going to come right in here in the pink and eyedrop. And then command click as I go along, making sure that I'm getting lip color and not skin color. I command click highlight those come into the pink I'm gonna get the top row and then command click as I move down here I want to get a little bit of that light colored area so it's just command click and then click with the eyedropper as you can see the color of our lip is changing to something that we want. Now we can shorten this up if we need to, right? So if I can take my selection tool like that, direct selection tool, I can take the scale tool. And actually before we do that, let's do this. We want the bottom lip, let me command click to turn this on really quick. And kind of see that we do want to close. That one's not bad, but this one we definitely want to close up. And that's kind of a harsh line along the bottom. And I want that to maybe fade into the skin tone better, right? So if we turn the face on, kind of a harsh line. I'm going to turn that off. Just an example. So I want to show you what we're doing there. So command click on that. What I want to do is with my direct selection tool, my white arrow, I'm going to click on all of the bottom mesh points. So I'm going to shift click as I do it. And you can see that's going to change from white to pink and my uh, gradient mesh is kind of this pinkish color or magenta color because that's what my layer color is. So yours doesn't have to be that same color just whatever color it is as we shift click those are all going to change. What we want to do is to fade from lip to skin so with those selected we're then going to bring our opacity down to zero. And then we saw that this was kind of a weird block so I'm going to highlight those, S for scale, and bring that together, All right? Bring those together without crossing, and then R to rotate, R to rotate, and then I just kind of rotate up, and then A for my selection tool, and I drag that kind of up into the corner of the mouth. I can do the same thing here, although this one looked okay. Maybe if I highlight and just scale S tool just scale just a little bit whoops we don't want to go too far and then I'm gonna take my A for my direct selection tool and just kinda move that up right up into that corner something like that then we're gonna command click and you can see that we're starting to get our lip right point it up there you can see where it kinda fades and we have that little highlight there. What you want to do is go ahead and I'm going to turn that off. Go back and do the same thing for the upper lip. And then we'll discuss adding some details on the lips and how to approach the gums and the teeth. As always, Command S to save just in case something bad happens as you're working.